There have been a lot of discoveries and many inventions that have become a thing purely due to a serendipitous moment. When luck, timing, and fate come together, some pretty amazing things can happen. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most astonishing things that were discovered by pure chance. From a mysterious shell grotto to a terrifying Chinese mummy, here are 15 most amazing accidental historical discoveries. Number 15. Underground Shell Grotto of England In 1835, farmer James Newlove and his son Joshua were busy digging in their property in Kent, England. They wanted to have a small pond for their ducks, and neither of them expected to discover what came to be one of England's greatest cultural treasures. After digging for a while, they discovered an underground cavern, but it wasn't any other ordinary subterranean chamber. Every inch of the cave was covered by millions of shells such as whelks, mussels, cockles, and mollusks. They weren't just placed on the walls arbitrarily. They formed intricate designs and geometrical patterns. Several of the shells formed shapes of animals, including birds and other reptiles. It was a marvelous creation, and the two farmers knew that they stumbled upon an incredible discovery. Today, the cave is known as the Margate Shell Grotto. It's been open to the public so that people can see the incredible craftsmanship of the people who created the Shell Grotto. However, no one knows the origin of this place. The place couldn't be radiocarbon dated because of the high cost. People have their own theories as to how the Shell Grotto was created. Some people think that it was a masterpiece built by an unknown civilization that once lived on the land. Others claim that there's no way the Shell Grotto was built a long time ago. It's more likely that the Shell Grotto was the brainchild of an eccentric Victorian aristocrat who wanted to have a unique chamber to show off. If this is the case, there's still the mystery of why they would choose to build the Shell Grotto underneath a grassland. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Ancient Underground City Discovered in Man's Basement 20,000 people that's most likely the total number of people who once lived in the massive underground city of Derinkuyu, Turkey. This underground settlement wouldn't have been discovered if not for an unnamed man who was trying to repair his home. In 1963, an anonymous Turkish man was trying to fix and renovate the basement of his house in Derinkuyu, where an accidental hit of a sledgehammer revealed a tunnel behind the wall of his home. Initially, he thought that the tunnel led to a single underground chamber, he continued further and further until he realized that he discovered a system of underground tunnels. Each of the subterranean paths were connected together, making an entire underground city. It consisted of halls, chambers, and rooms. It was an impressive underground complex. The entire underground settlement is about 280 feet underground, and it has enough space to house 20,000 people. But the discovery also led to many questions. Who built this complex? And why did they abandon it? Historical records don't indicate anything about the underground city. Some experts believe that it was built around 2000 BC by the Hittites or the Phrygians around 700 BC. Others, however, insist that the entire complex was once the home of thousands of Christians in the first century AD. This is one of the most convincing theories because the chambers were built with the intention to protect anyone inside the complex. More than 15,000 shafts supply air to the underground city most of which were only 10 centimeters wide. Aside from these openings, the subterranean complex can only be opened by rolling a massive stone from the inside. The people who once lived there also seemed self-sufficient. Some of the rooms looked like they were used for food storage. Experts also found a room that was once used as a convent, a small church, a wine room, and a place where domestic animals used to live. We might never discover the real history or origin of this settlement but it's an incredible find nonetheless. Number 13. 11-Year-Old Inventor Who likes popsicles? If you're one of the people who enjoy this cold treat, then you might be surprised to learn that the food you enjoy was invented by an 11-year-old boy in the early 1900s. In 1905, Frank Epperson, who was 11 years old at the time, was trying to make himself a quick drink. He mixed powdered sugar with water, but as most kids do, he completely forgot about what he was making and left it out on the porch. When he came back to it the next morning, he discovered that the sugary drink was frozen solid after being left outside during a particularly cold night in the San Francisco Bay Area. Coincidentally, Frank left the wooden stick he used to mix the drink dipped in the liquid. As a result, 
He got a frozen treat with a makeshift handle, like a lollipop. I know that most people wouldn't drink something left unattended for hours, especially if it's left outside. But again, Frank was 11 years old, and he was extremely curious to try out the frozen soda mix. Needless to say, he liked it enough that he made more of it. Soon enough, he started selling the treat around the neighborhood. Unsurprisingly, many people liked the accidental invention. When Frank grew into an adult, he made the frozen treat for his own kids. It wasn't until 1923 that Frank finally decided to file a patent for the treat he invented. Did you know that popsicles almost didn't become a thing? That's because Frank initially wanted to name the drink Episcles, a combination of his name and the word icicle. Frank's kids, however, had another idea. After being introduced to the tasty treat, his children always requested their Pops Sickles, and the name of the frozen treat stuck. So the next time you get one of these refreshing snacks, you'll know that it was created by a young child. Number 12. Prehistoric Paintings On September 12, 1940, four young boys were playing with their dog when the poor animal fell down a foxhole at the side of the hill in Lascaux. Determined to save their furry companion, the four young boys kept digging and widening the entrance until it was big enough for them to enter. A young boy named Marcel slid down the tunnel, and his friends followed suit. They didn't expect to see several animals inside the tunnel, but instead of living, breathing creatures, they were animals drawn by prehistoric humans. The tunnel's walls were adorned by prehistoric art, depictions of deer, bison, felines, and more. The boys were quite thrilled by their accidental discovery, but it wasn't until the next day that they explored deeper into the caves. The boys came prepared the next day and brought a makeshift lamp with them to properly see the paintings adorning the cave walls. The next day, they told their teacher about the cave, who later on informed the local experts about it. It wasn't long until the cave was excavated. By 1948, the Lascaux Cave was open to the public. Many people were incredibly amazed by the prehistoric paintings. But there was one problem. The old artworks date back between 17,000 and 15,000 BCE, within the Upper Paleolithic period. Each painting was left undisturbed for thousands of years, and its sudden exposure to people led to many of the 600 paintings being destroyed. To protect and preserve the historical discovery, it was closed to the public in 1963, and by 1979, the Lascaux Cave was added to the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. To those who were curious to see the art up close, several replicas of the cave were created near the original location. Number 11. Artificial Heartbeat More than a century ago, a man named Wilson Greatbatch was born. In his lifetime, the man never expected that a mistake he made while tinkering with a small device would save many lives years after he died. In 1958, Wilson was working in his barn in Clarence, New York. He was working on a device that could record heart rhythms. By chance, he installed the wrong size of resistor into the device. But instead of failing, the tiny piece of equipment produced intermittent electrical pulses similar to the human heart. This was the beginning of the implanted pacemaker that has now saved millions of lives all around the world. At the time, the only way doctors regulated their patients' heartbeats was to use a tool the size of a television. Although it was impractical, it was their only option. For this reason, Wilson's discovery was incredibly crucial. Along with his peers, Wilson began refining the pacemaker and worked on making it smaller. Soon, he made it so that it wouldn't be affected by bodily fluids. He received the help of his wife Eleanor, and he made this miraculous invention in the comfort of his very own backyard. By May 1958, doctors at the hospital in Buffalo successfully used Wilson's pacemaker to control a dog's heartbeat. Two years later, the pacemaker was successfully used by 10 human patients in a clinical trial. Wilson's backyard operation was a success. One year after the first volunteers, 100 people began using the device. And today, about 3 million people have an implanted pacemaker. Who would have thought that a single mistake would result in a life-saving invention? That's serendipity, all right. Number 10. The Terracotta Army in the 1970s, the Shanxi province in northwest China experienced extreme drought. With no one else to help them, the locals were forced to find a way to obtain water. A group of peasants tried their luck by digging a well, but instead of water, they discovered an entire army of clay figures. Little did they know that they unearthed the massive tune of Xin Shi Huangdi, 
the man who proclaimed himself as the very first emperor of China in 221 BC. Befitting of his title, the tomb of Xingxi Huangdi was incomparable. Since its discovery, archaeologists have discovered 600 pits, several underground vaults, countless treasures, and of course, thousands of warriors and servants made of clay. In Chinese historical records, the mausoleum's construction began immediately after the emperor's ascension to the throne in 246 BCE. At the time, the young Qin was only 13 years old. Soon enough, the emperor ordered some 700,000 workers to finish the entire mausoleum, and their hard work paid off. The massive necropolis is approximately 38 square miles. Some 8,000 life-sized warriors and servants surrounded the emperor's tomb. What's astounding is that each of the clay figures looked like they were modeled after real people. Each one of them looked like they were once real humans who were frozen in time. Some of them were on chariots being pulled by life-size horses. It seemed like the emperor wanted to have his imperial army, even in the afterlife. Archaeologists suspect that the emperor's actual tomb holds much more impressive treasures, but the local archaeologists refuse to open it. The emperor's eternal chamber is roughly the size of an entire football pitch, and experts detected that it was filled with mercury. It could be lethal for archaeologists to venture inside it. However, the real reason why they're putting the opening of the tomb on hold is that they didn't want to risk destroying or damaging any part of it. A historical record indicated that the emperor's tomb was filled with models of palaces, pavilions, and precious treasures. And no matter how tempting it is to get a glimpse of them, the safety of the historical tomb was the priority. Number 9. Most Commonly Used Antibiotics You've most definitely heard of penicillin before. This medicine is an extremely effective antibiotic that is derived from a mold known as penicillium. But did you know that it was discovered by accident? In 1928, Sir Alexander Fleming spent most of his days busy in his laboratory experimenting with the influenza virus. After months of hard work, he decided to take a two-week vacation. It was said that aside from his brilliance, Fleming was also quite careless, and it was this trait that led him to discover penicillin. After returning from his short vacation, he discovered that a fluffy white mold contaminated the Staphylococcus bacteria on one of the culture plates. To his surprise, the mold prevented the spread of the bacteria. It was then that he discovered the mold that inhibited the growth and spread of Staphylococcus. It took years of additional studies to perfect the drug, but after that, penicillin was used to treat one sickness after another. Soon, it came to be known as the wonder drug or the cure-all medicine. It wasn't until 1946 that penicillin became available in the United Kingdom for public use, but its spread became the catalyst to a new approach to medicine. Fleming's discovery is arguably one of the greatest accidental inventions in history. In fact, several articles often claim that Fleming himself didn't expect to wake up and make a discovery that would revolutionize all medicine. He never expected that September 28, 1928 would be the day that he discovered the world's first bacteria killer. Number 8. The Mysterious Sculpture of Aphrodite of Milos Venus de Milo, also known as Aphrodite of Milos, is a 6-foot, 8-inch tall female statue that was most likely created during the late 2nd century BCE. Although this sculpture is now one of the most vital artworks on display in the Louvre Pyramid in Paris, the origin of this sculpture is shrouded in mystery. The identity of the inspiration of the artwork was quite impossible to determine because of the incomplete figure. However, experts believe that Venus de Milo represents Venus, the goddess of love. There's also a chance that she was sculpted after Amphitrite, the goddess of the sea, who was a significant figure on the Greek island of Melos. This female figure was discovered by a farmer in 1820. The unnamed man was working on the Aegean island of Melos when he unearthed the statue in pieces. Although the majority of the artwork was found and later assembled, its original arms were never located. But despite being an incomplete sculpture, it was a marvelous piece. So much so that it was fit to be given to Louis XVIII. Later on, it was donated to the Louvre, where it stays to this day. Number 7. Potato Chips With it being one of the most popular snacks in the entire world, you can find potato chips wherever you go. But did you know that there's an interesting story behind its discovery? It was said that the crispy snack was accidentally discovered by a cook named George Speck. George was the son of an African-American man and a Native American mother, but he later on changed his last name to Crum. In 1853, 
Crumb worked as a cook in the Moon Lake Lodge Resort, where he encountered a particularly picky customer. One of the dishes on the menu was French fried potatoes. You know, the classic yummy French fry. Many of the restaurant's patrons liked the fries, but one customer didn't. This customer repeatedly sent his French fried potatoes back to the kitchen. He claimed that it was too thick and soft for his liking. After redoing the fry several times, George eventually snapped and decided to slice the potatoes the thinnest he could. He then fried them and sent them to the customer. Surprisingly, the man liked it. And this is the supposed origin of the well-loved potato chips enjoyed by many all around the world. It makes me wonder though, who really invented the potato chip? Crumb who cooked it? Or the customer who had the idea of cutting the potato into thinner slices? What do you think? Number 6. Stone of Decree Many years before the 1800s, several people used a massive stone to build a wall. It was left forgotten until July 15, 1799, when Napoleon's army stumbled upon it near the town of Rashid in the Nile Delta. The stone that was accidentally discovered turned out to be a significant find. When Napoleon was defeated, it was taken by the British troops and was claimed as their property under the Treaty of Alexandria in 1801. The stone was transported to England and arrived in Portsmouth in February 1802. This stone is the Rosetta Stone, one of the most famous artifacts stored in the British Museum. This massive stone slab contains the inscriptions of a decree about the King Ptolemy V. The message claimed that the priests of a temple in Memphis supported the king's reign. However, the message inscribed on the stone wasn't what was important. It was the fact that the decree was written in three different languages. The stone contained passages written in Demotic, Ancient Greek, and most importantly, hieroglyphics. At the time, Egyptology was an incredibly popular field. Many people were interested in the ancient civilization of Egypt, and one thing that hindered the progress of many experts was their lack of knowledge of hieroglyphics. With the help of the Rosetta Stone, experts managed to decode several hieroglyphic symbols by using Ancient Greek as a reference. Number 5. Oldest Ghost Illustration Perhaps the fear of spirits and the paranormal has been hardwired into humans, and recently a museum curator discovered proof of that. This stone tablet has been stored in the British Museum for an unknown period of time. No one knew its significance until an unnamed curator stumbled upon it by accident and noticed the inscription on the stone. The Babylonian tablet that dates back 3,500 years contained the drawing of a bearded male ghost being led to the underworld by a woman. Aside from the spooky drawing, the tablet also provided steps on how to exercise an unwanted spirit. Experts believe that the tablet was created after a family sought the help of an exorcist to get rid of the spirit of a family member who recently passed. The ritual involved steps that are pretty similar to the ones that some tribes and healers still practice to this day. The ritual involved reciting a spell, as well as providing figurines that the spirit could inhabit instead of a person. Although this tablet is quite spooky, it was pretty funny to think that a family was so plagued by the ghost of their own kin that they literally forced him to finally pass on to the other side. Number 4. Spanish Stonehenge In 2019, a drought hit several parts of Spain, causing many of the country's reservoirs, dams, and rivers to dry up. It was then that a man discovered these strange megalithic stones while flying a drone over one of the country's reservoirs in the city of Caceres. It turned out that what he saw was the Dolmen of Guadalperal, a megalithic monument built in the city between 4,000 to 7,000 years ago. Because of its similarity to Stonehenge in England, the monument also became known as the archaeological site's Spanish counterpart. The megalithic monument was most likely used as a temple and a cemetery. It might have also once served as an economic hub where people met to trade. The locals have known about the existence of the Dolmen since they first started living in the area but it was not until 1925 that it began being studied by researchers and archaeologists. But before it could be fully studied, dictator Francisco Franco ordered the construction of a dam and a reservoir in the region. This led to the dolmens being submerged in water. Today, the dolmens can only be fully seen during the dry season. Number 3. The Sistine Chapel of Ancients The Sistine Chapel is known all around the world for the magnificent paintings adorning its ceiling most of which were painted in fresco by the famous artist Michelangelo between 1508 and 1512. In 2020, 
archaeologists discovered rock art that rivaled that of the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. In the remote Amazon forest, a man accidentally stumbled upon a magnificent rock wall that was covered by tens of thousands of ice paintings that date back from 12,500 years ago. The paintings included depictions of animals and humans, including the massive kin of the modern-day elephant, the Mastodon. It also included illustrations of giant sloths and Ice Age horses. This is one of the most amazing archaeological discoveries of the 21st century, and many archaeologists who saw the painting in person claimed that the prehistoric artworks were breathtaking. Because the discovery was made recently, studies of the paintings are still ongoing, and as one of the archaeologists said, we're barely scratching the surface when it comes to learning more about our predecessors. Number 2. Most Recognized Pastry in the World Most people in the world have tasted the delicious pastry known as chocolate chip cookies. But did you know that it was accidentally invented by a woman named Ruth Wakefield? The scrumptious treat's origin dates back to 1939, when Ruth was making a batch of cookies when she deliberately added broken pieces of chocolate into the mix. Initially, she thought that the chocolate would melt in the process and create chocolate-flavored cookies. But to her surprise, cookies with sweet bits of chocolate came out of the oven. Surprisingly enough, the combination worked, and it became the most popular cookie of all time. Number 1. The Terrifying Wet-Faced Chinese Mummy A team of construction workers expanding a street in eastern China stumbled upon quite a historical, yet horrifying, find. They found the remains of a high-ranking woman from the Ming Dynasty, making her remains more than 700 years old. The woman's remains were incredibly well-preserved. In fact, the woman still had her eyebrows intact. The woman's clothes and other features were so well-preserved that the road workers thought that she only died recently. It turned out that a brown liquid with an unknown composition made it possible for the mummy to last for centuries. Aside from the wet-faced mummy, five others were found near the area between 1979 and 2008, all of which were in incredibly good condition. This accidental discovery will help historians and researchers to learn more about the rituals and expertise of the people who lived in the Ming Dynasty when it comes to mummification. What do you think about these cool discoveries? And do you know of any other amazing things that were discovered by complete accident? Make sure to share them in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.